So I'm recording and I'm streaming, but I need to stop. You, you don't need to record at the same time. You can just stream and then download the recording from Twitch afterwards if you want to keep it. Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's it just sits on my desk. It's a big, heavy machine, so it, um, yeah, I could do it. I, I, I'm happy just to have it locally as well. It doesn't seem to be. So how do I get the, the, the streaming? Um, yeah, so if you want the chat and stuff, then you can do it from within OBS. So if you like want to get rid of some of those useless windows, like scene transitions or whatever, you can uh, right-click them. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and okay. then untick that. And then if you go to uh, Tools or View or something, let me let me check on mine actually. Uh, um. Uh, yeah, view docs, and then there should be like chat and Twitch feed, and so in OBS. View docs. Okay. And then oh, you don't have that. No, okay. I don't have that. But I might. Are you I need. To, I need version? to add some modules and stuff, which I'm I'm okay because I yeah. I don't really I don't... need need that yet. I mean, it's like. Okay, I I don't think I've added anything. Maybe oh, I added the automatic camera switching one. Maybe it comes with that or something. Yeah, I mean, can just go through. It. I just want to get started because of the football match. Um, just trying to think how did so you can see you see in the Twitch you can see I'm my copying's all gone a bit wrong. I'm just wondering how I can. So the screen I need to change windows to this one. Right, so you can see my. Emacs now, right? And then somehow I've got to somehow I've got to see what I mean. I, I um I've got to edit that. Yeah, it's probably because the size of your Discord window has changed since yeah. you last said it. Right. So if I say oh, cropping at the top, it's just complicated to. Okay, so let's say six. just drag it. Just drag it around. Don't do it with the keyboard. Well, I, yeah, and, and you say that, but I can't I drag what around. What do I do? What do I drag around? The Is... box. I mean, I can't see your screen anymore. But you can drag like that frame and then crop it with. Mouse. Yeah, but you can't crop it. You can. You you hold Alt and then. Oh, drag okay. The oh, okay. Right. It's either Alt or Control or. No, whatever. no, you're right. It is Control, uh, and then that means. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot easier than trying to uh, guess. No, sure. I know. Just no, and and then I can press Alt. No, it's not. Work. Oh, Alt. Gosh. It's one. I don't know, I I forgot. We're getting there. We're not going to be able to standardize this just anytime soon. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like a hacky way of of doing it, really. But um... yeah, because ideally, it would be a way of when I think I can capture a browser thing of Jeremy, or whatever, and. Um, you know, this is only works as long as James stays in the frame. But I think that will that will work. Okay, I'm I'm going to leave it. You see, you can see you can see the uh, window now. You you can see Emacs, right, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Through a sound, I, I can hear you all, and presumably we can all hear each other. And there's no echo on Twitch. So, okay, welcome everybody. Uh, I suppose we do a. <laughs> Okay, so welcome everybody to episode two. Uh, we're live coding today, um, and today we're going to show a bit of reframe. And I've brought in Alex Davis uh, to uh, to the episode because Alex has has really got a lot of expertise about how to build reframe apps. And we're going to try, I think, today is to create a uh, be able to create a new card, be able to set. Uh, be able to view different cards, list them. I would quite like to be able to set the status of the card because Jeremy and I have got this uh, plan to create a Kanban and maybe we can um, later on in the week and create a Kanban board. So what we want to do is be able to set the status of these individual cards. So let me, Alex, let me show you the, the code that we have so far and kind of talk you through it. And maybe you can, perhaps the other way around, perhaps you need to talk us through it because you we've stolen quite a lot of your code here. Um, so I'm just starting this server with reusing Shadow CLJS, which is a, a project to just kind of help build um, Closure Script and give you a nice up, um, a, a kind of experience, a, a fast feedback loop. So um, I'm running it from Emacs. 
Um, just going to compile this. Um, I think we're running in card. And I'm going to open a browser. And there we are. Let's just navigate to the page and we can see our card. Uh, I did a quick demo today to somebody else, so I will update that. So Alex, what, what we're seeing here, if I can just show you the, the code, we've got um, a main where we do our mount um, and it dispatches a, an event. This is all done in reframe. We have um, some roots. So the two roots that I've got, well, forget Kanban, we've only really got Slate. And Slate is what you're seeing on the right hand side. Okay. Um, what application context? What, oh, application context, uh, good point. Application context is a, is a variable. And that variable is set by the shadow, uh, well, shadow config. And today we're setting it to home.jux.site. So, uh, no, we're setting it to slash. Yeah, it's, it's slash. So if you look at it, slash slate slash Kanban. I, perhaps we don't need it, but uh, the kind of the idea there is that when it is live, when we've deployed this code and it's being served up somewhere else, then, you know, sometimes it's not slash. It should be, you know, slash card slash or something so mm -hmm. um, but uh, what we're trying to do now is have a little box here to be able to set the the status um of the card i think what we're, where we're getting a bit stuck is that we want to be able to draw, view this card at a, a url perhaps you know this this is the important part of the this url section containing checklist one we've got other urls here so what we want to do is perhaps put this in the path parameter and be able to navigate to a given card. At the moment, it's hard coded to load up this card. And I'll just show you that in our in our views. So we have a UI here. I won't sort of go through how reframe works, but you know, we just uh, this this has a, a card which is this what we're seeing here and then this has this new bit a new bit and then a menu which is down here um, mm -hmm. the card itself yeah so you want a new page right for a single card yeah yeah we want to uh, I, mean, I mean this is a single card the, these are sub paragraphs inside the card which we, sh we still want to display but this this is like the page cards list card lists or and then you want another page called you know exactly single yeah, a single card view. Um, but we want to see, we want to be able to click on the list and go to the card. Yeah, yeah, you know, sure. So I guess the first step, if you go back to your pages, um, so this is, yeah, this is like something that I'm not like a particularly big fan of with uh, Closure Script apps at the moment because like this is this is a little bit painful compared to other ways of doing it, but. Um, Basically, you need to add a new key and value to this page case. Right. So you've got nav Kanban, you've got nav slate, and then nav card or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Yeah, we can keep slate in there, but we'll call it nav card. Yeah, and this is the thing. And then yeah. you're going to need um, a render function for your card. So I guess you want to keep the menu, but just have like slate one card. Um, yeah, uh, slate card with a parameter. No, no, just slate one card. It will be a different render function. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Can we put it up? There? I mean, you could you could um, require the card here, but it's better to require it like later on when it actually needs it. So this is just the dispatch on routing, and it shouldn't need to know anything about like the property okay. that each component gets. Okay. Um, so this, just let me show you before we do that, let's show, show you what this card, this this card has. I guess, well, why have we got an ID there? I don't think it's using that ID. It, it, it has this notion of current card. Yeah, you can remove that ID. From right. The oh, function from, from there, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. And this current card, if you, if you remember 
we had this initialize event. The, the point of initialize event is that, that it then sets the current card, you know. It's, uh, but right, so, so we are already looking at just one card. Yeah, okay. yeah, that, yeah. And at the moment it's hard coded. Yes, exactly. So exactly. we don't have a list all the cards view. Yeah, I, I, uh, no, we don't, no. Uh, and we could either start by not hard, you know, unhard coding, the, you know, what we're seeing, so we can use the URL to navigate, or we can go straight to actually print the list and then show you what kind of cards that we have yeah. on offer. Okay. okay, well, just seeing as we already have this one card view, but we're hard coding it. Like this is just a one line change to unhard code this. So instead of um, associating this uh, hard coded URL, yeah. you want to get the URL from the root information. Yeah, and from, then, yeah. And then we just need to like add that link uh, to the URL there to go to it. Yeah. So um, is there any reason why you can't just take the Oh, URL right now? Oh, because we're doing home. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, the current card, th this is actually a, a, a real uh, card. So if I, if I, the site, I'll, I'll show you that in a new tab. The site uh, API origin has been set to Jack's site because we're kind of coding that. And then if I add card cards section, then this is a this is some data. It's in HTML, but it does have a JSON uh, rendering as well. Um, just so what happens is that this current okay. card is then dispatched with this, get me the card, please. And then what it, what it would do there is call this. I mean, this is a little bit messy, but the, the, it goes to this card components. So we can go card components and then uh, give it section containing and we get some JSON here and I'll show you that is just a bunch of the main can you see all the paragraphs in here it's really a collection or an array of these of these crux entities and then the UI just stitches them together okay so so um, do you have a subscription for the current route are you, no. if you've copied my code, then you should have that. Okay. No. Um, if you go to your subscriptions. Okay. Subscriptions. See we do have a current, have. we do have the current groups. Right. Okay. So let's make one for path. Per, oh yeah, actually let's just get the current route. So back in your, um, in your, uh, render function. Actually, we need to change the page first. So go back to the case uh, statement because that is, or, or yeah. So, so oh yeah. So where's the roots for that uh, slate? Yeah, this is the, the okay. So slate HTML should be um, card slash and then colon card, I guess. Yeah. Slash. Uh, colon card. Colon card. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, get rid of that. Okay. And then the name needs to be card. Yeah. Have okay. It. And then in the case, we need to make sure that we have a, a thing for that. Where's the case? Oh, the thing in the, the views. The views. Okay. So we'll put a, a thing in for that nav. That's what we have nav card. And then we, yeah. we can say. It's the same. It's the same thing as you have uh, already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then in card, um, actually in uh, in wherever current card is set, so back in that uh, event that you were at with the hard coded bit. Yeah. Um, so we need to get the uh, path out of the the current route. So if you do like a let just to make this a bit. Yeah. Easier. Okay, I would. Okay, sure. No, 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 no that's, that's fine. No, 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 that's fine. I, I would have done it above just in case you want to. The map, yeah. Any FX. Oh, it's here. Hi, Lou. 
So uh, yeah, right, right after the FN, because you might need to use like that stuff even in the effects. But yeah, yeah, so, I like, mean, it, the, doesn't, it doesn't matter because yeah, I, it doesn't matter really. I you yeah. will, but oh, I see you mean mean up here. Right. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so do um, card ID. I guess this is what we're getting, um, and then for now, let's just uh, get in the DB the current route. Okay, from the, from the okay, so current uh, it's current route. Uh, I think let's just um, it'll be in current route. Yeah, uh, okay, it's called. Yeah, current route. Oh. Yeah, just current route, yeah. In DB, okay. Yeah. And then I think um, path params. So that current route is a map of like the, the thing and yeah, so path okay. params. Do I? Uh, no, there, there's, hold on, hold on. There's, uh, I think, data before that. No. No? Okay. Uh, actually, hang on. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's, it's not. It's just path params. Anyway, maybe just print the whole thing, print the whole route, and you yeah, can see right. what you can see. What no, you're right, you're right. It's path params, yeah. That's just exactly. a key yeah. Print it below, so like wrap wrap everything in the let. Perfect. Yeah, because you need to return that map. Okay, and then, and then uh, print the uh, card ID here. Uh, yeah, but you're probably going to want to get rid of that get in or. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Right. Yeah. So let's see. What card ID looks like? I think we are going to have to solve a sort of uh, um, ability. To... Oh, then did, did you save in the roots file? Uh, in the events file. So it is coming back as nil. Uh, because uh, when is this getting called? Look at is the it roots. Being called too early. And it's being called too early. So if I um... because. Um, the right way to do this is in your routes, you want to have a dispatch on the route that you load, and that calls uh, a post DB current card. Right. Um, in my, my routes. Which are, yeah. yeah. So this card, where you have name card, you're also going to want a FX key on that map. Right. And then you'll need a vector and then another vector. It has to be two. Okay. And then you do dispatch. Okay. And, and it's we'll like, make. Yeah, we can have a, like a set card or something, set current card. Yeah. Right, okay. So let's call it set current. I mean, this is not. No, no, it has, that has to be in a, a vector as well. That's the. Oh, yes. Yeah, got it. Like Although, this. yeah, so, so this is. You need to do it this way if this needs to be fetched from somewhere. Mm. But does it actually need to be fetched from somewhere, or are you just getting a string from the URL? Because if you're just getting a string from the URL, then I'd say don't do it in reframe at all. Just do it in the component. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. We could do it in. But, but will you will you want to do? Oh yeah, I see. You're doing. Uh, you're in initialize. You're doing dispatch get card section containing checklist. Yeah. Is that what you want to do here? Um, yeah, I, I, I guess when somebody somebody might be changing the the location, uh, they might be clicking a hyperlink. They may be coming in from a bookmark. So we need to. Sure, but I, like my my point is, yeah, do. You, Right, I think I think I I think you need to do it this way. So that's fine. So keep what you have, set current card, and we'll make that event up. It doesn't take anything. All right. It's it's always going to be the current one. So it's just going to get the ID out of the root and then call get card with that ID. Oh, and put it into the put it into the um, current card. Put it into the current card. So it, if this was set current card here. Um, yeah. This will be an FX, so it will take a, okay. Yeah, so you need the DB and then the, nothing. The mapping. So, and then we, And then if you copy that uh, card ID let from above. Yeah, right, okay. I'll, but this time it doesn't want to do um, any FX. It's just... It does. No, it does. Okay. Right. 
like that's what you need to do. You need to get card, but with the ID instead of that hard code. Oh yeah, right. Okay, with the ID. Right. Okay, so in this case, the card ID is going to be well. It's not going to be the current root. We're going to print that out, but uh, it will be. Let's say we can say it will be card ID. Right. Yeah. Right. And then get card will do card ID instead of that string. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully when when you refresh. Because uh, it will only be called when that page is navigated to. Okay, so it's still nil, which means... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to change the navigated function in your navigation.cl.js. I'm pretty sure that he copied my code, so it should already have... No. It doesn't? Well, it's no? not there. Look at no. the navigated effect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just send you something. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can share your screen. Uh, if you, I can see you on Discord, if you have a stream. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll just I'll just send you this, and you can paste it in. Okay. Are you going to send it via what? Slack. No, it's okay. It's, it's like four hundred lines of code. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, you me. can actually let me let me just uh, clean it up because uh, there's some specific custom stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that, that effect that effect thing that we added to the router is something that it's a custom, like create it doesn't do anything with it. Yeah. So like we need to write the code to actually dispatch that every time you navigate to that yeah, URL. I mean, we could actually use rate it controllers for this too, but, True. Um, but I think uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of like a nicer thing just to be able to put FX in the... In yeah. the Anyway, so. Also, because you need to wrap them in anonymous functions, otherwise they only they only dispatched once. That's weird. The built-in one. Yeah. Did you get that, Malcolm? Yeah. Uh, but so you've got a navigated. Your one looks like this. So you're saying. Yeah. You, you just need to change the. You just need to. Uh, yeah, that, that looks fine. And then delete your one. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then refresh, and it will just work 100%. Yeah, of course it always does. Hmm. Uh, and it's just saying nil. I'll uh, just try and... Uh, can you... Um... Hmm. I put, when I do that print line, I'll put a little... Um... Uh, um so, I'll put a little indication that it is the one that we're looking for just to make sure that it's not some other print line. But yeah, can you also add like a print line to navigated just so you can see what order? Oh, it's that's the wrong place, by the way. That's initialized. You probably want to get rid of that. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Um, right. And then add one in navigated um, in that navigated event. Um, which is now the. Yeah. Uh, in um, navigation.cl.js. Oh, okay. I think you can press Control O to like go back to the previous file you're in, or maybe that's a space mic thing. No, that's space mic, but it's okay. Uh, I, got, I got it. Uh, <laughs> so you want me to put a print line at what point? No, here. Just after that let, yeah. Uh, okay. uh, anywhere in anywhere here, really. Oh, and I put it in um, data. Data is. I just print the strut of the data and what's going to happen to the data yeah i mean yeah it doesn't really matter um okay we've got a name there that's soon sure. oh, hold on hold on hold on hold on you're not in you're the, on right the wrong like, view you gotta yeah, go you're on the wrong yeah. view you gotta um, go to cards so you need to click, click that url at the top or click one of the card urls because at the moment oh, okay. Gotcha. okay so <laughs> so let's go you click card you click the URL. and it's saying, oh, yeah, it's working. And the data, oh, we've got set current card. And OK, uh, what are we seeing there? I think that's, is that right? Is, yeah, no, you still got, uh, OK. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. There's the user, if user. I don't think we have a user in Navigator. Oh, uh, right? yeah, yeah. So kill that user in the light. Just yeah. like remove that. Um, well, yeah. you do have you do have authentication, right? So you probably do want to do this, right? Uh, uh, where's your user stored, Malcolm? The user is. If you look in subscriptions, or events. Or... 
the user, uh, no, the user isn't stored any, um, that user is available by going to site under slash user and, and uh, it's something that we could do in initialization. We just don't in this app. Um, okay. In that case, just in that let set user to a string of some sort or whatever. Yeah. Right, okay. Cool. All right. That show that's looking better now. So we've got the data as being. Yeah, and that's the match that's getting printed. So. Um, so okay. So you see in that parameters path card, that's where the ID is. Yeah. Where. So uh, that. That's what we need to do in the get in in that event. Yeah. Where, where, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's uh, that's our food HTML. Yeah. So in events, you can. Uh, uh, in yes, that's right. So we need to get the card out of the. Yeah. So if you replace that current root DB with a get in DB. And it's. Card. Okay. No, it's uh, it's params. Per, oh, oh, path params. Path params. Per, path params card. Well, I might as well put current root. Yeah. There, and then. So that will print the card. I'll say it's a card ID is, and then if we've got that, then it should give us our. Um, yeah, that worked. Our food. Um, All right. So if we make that. The one that says section containing check list. I think it's that. I might be wrong. No, we are expecting card ID is. Oh, it's this HTML perhaps. Um, so we can. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So now, I think we had another. Yeah, we had some more. We do have some more um, cards in the database. We just don't know what they're called. So this is a good. So can you click on those other cards? You see that they all have links. These sub cards. Oh, I guess you could. Yeah, like you could. Like if you if you make that an href or. Um... Yeah, no, I could I could put that in. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, we could do make that an href. Okay, should we do, try doing that? So. Well, it won't be quite the same because this is the we're we're running locally. Yeah, but you could. Uh, That's okay. Uh, For now, just to see that it works, I can replace that with that, and we should get be able to get. Uh, no, I mean maybe we can't render those things individually as cards. They're they're paragraphs, and yeah, you should yeah you should be able to do that because. We, we right. will be able to eventually. It's just that the rendering logic probably makes some assumptions of the data model. Um, you know that it has yeah. a. Um, yeah, you'll 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 see that the. Uh, I I mean this is basically the same like block based structure that Notion and Rome and all those things use, right? So, they they all have ways to, uniquely like link to specific independent blocks and then you can also do permissions on like a block level which is very useful yeah yeah we are we are going to get to that but uh, at the moment um we, jeremy and i have decided we just keep things flat um, yeah. this, this is a card but one day it will become a section of a document and it will have a parent hierarchy and all that kind of stuff but this is very very as you can see very early days um so we, so if you just want to like clean up the initialize function. Um, yeah, OK. Oh, all right. Now, so now we can. You can like literally just, I mean, it doesn't do anything. Right. right. We don't need, we don't, we won't need this uh, at all, as I'm probably saying, because that will come from the set current card from the. Yeah, I just, I just delete that whole thing. The whole, this whole thing. Yeah, and the FX. Uh, and the FX. OK, cool. Uh, and just leave the initialization blank entirely. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see if it, that works. Here we go, folks. Okay. That's probably why it was being slow before, because it was like loading your hard coded one and loading the other one, right? Right. Yeah, for sure. So we can get rid of uh, 
these, and I think that's, that's set current. Are we not? Are we? Yeah, we are using set current card. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll leave the initialize in there just for the next cleanup. But I think that's good enough to commit that little. Uh, commit. So this is. Um, we're really kind of unhard code. Card URL. Okay, so so now's the time to. Uh, I guess we can sort of explore how you know we, we do have a a list of cards that we can generate from the from the database. Um, we need we we sort of were beginning to do that yesterday. So let me show you how that works today. We have a, um, yeah, I, we had, we have a, yeah, we have a, a query that we can do uh, on just slash cards on its own. So let's try, try that. If I do slash cards, um, Oh, it's slash cards slash. And, um, possibly this hasn't been deployed. And let's go. Let we let's go and see if we can. Uh, um, Oh yeah, that that seems to be working. Um, Ah, ho capito, vuoi venire? You asking for more pineapple pizza, Lee? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've run out of pineapple. My pizza. Yeah, yeah, that was the topic. I was like, get more pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I forgot I was not on mute. <laughs> that's okay. I've got my key binding to get my. No, I haven't. I don't think I know. There we go. Right. So, no, uh, we're going to. So, I, I need to deploy this uh, open API um, and just play around with it, I think. Um, so, what we've got to do now is find a way to pull out the. Uh, uh, construct a URL that for now is just going to give us a list of all the cards that we have in the system. All right, and um, what what we're saying here is that we're we're looking for anything that has content and a title. That's going to be our um, and uh, and that will do. Uh, we can do a query um, to see. Directly on the database through the REPL, and I'll, I'll show you show you that. So we, we can do a query, or we can find in the database uh, find any, any entity where the uh, uh, the thing has content. Okay, we'll, um, uh, but there's some stuff. Uh, how much stuff? 187. So we will say, well, okay, we'll get just so we know there are some cards in the system, and we can say, uh, I'm interested in their titles. So we'll call it title there, okay, and then we can say title. Oh, and we get a, a, a close that vector there. 
Okay, so these are the these are the documents that we have. Um, lots of stuff in there. Um, right. Um, and okay, we're we're good. Um, Yeah, so adding that page should just be a case of adding a new thing in that root with where the FX is, you know, fetch cards instead of fetch current card, and then a new uh, case in that views. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So from the bottom up, I've got to start by creating a, a URL. Um, yeah. So the URL might as well be be this. I'm just curious as to why this is only giving me one card and I think it's because I haven't deployed this new new stuff so I'm going to deploy deploy that so the, the way I, I I do that is I have to get a token the red means the red tells me that I'm operating against the production machine because of course we always develop in prod uh, we're cowboys on this, on this show uh, and then we do um, I've got a little deploy script which um, just amongst other things, it deploys this API so we can. Uh, yeah. Couldn't you just have the Eden file open on the server? Or oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, like, what of this whole um, this Eden yeah. gets? I mean, no, it's a, it's a good thing to, do, to describe. What currently happens is that you create open API. Uh, now, it doesn't isn't in Eden because the first thing that the Babashka script that uploads this does is turn it to JSON. So if oh, right. itself receives the JSON in, stores the JSON as a crux entity. And then when you come in with an API, it just uses the, the open API as a kind of router and it routes you to this query, runs this query for you, right? So you can upload an open API and it, and it, it get it sort of live it's not a mock server it's a live server the only limitation is that the things it can do is put stuff into crux and query it out um but that's that's the uh, yeah I, I just meant it would be like a smoother pipeline if that file in your emacs was on the server or something or like even you could have a watcher like uh that runs the display the deploy script when it changes oh, so you don't okay. like the Oh, I forgot to deploy my. Thing. No, well, exactly. So one of the things that we feel like, and this is so, so the on the roadmap, um, yeah, having these kind of files in Crux would be nice. And there is there is some work on WebDAV which allows you to sort of mount your de you know, development files, and when you hit save, that will convert directly to an HTTP put, which will put it into the you know, so it will be. Auto deploy. Um, I don't think I don't, you don't need any web dev or anything. You could do it as it is now, right? You just have a watch, um, a watch on the file, and then you run a deploy. Yeah, play. no, that's right. And we sometimes we do that. We have this kind of uh, like you say, open. You you could do this uh, deploy. Top. Yeah. So every time that changes, only I haven't got uh, that really useful tool um, just for the people at home. ENTR, it's really kind of handy. Oh, what does it say? Uh, deploy. Slash. Slash. Right. Okay. So now I can make a change to this. Yeah. The, the only issue with that is I'm guessing after an hour it's going to stop working, right? Oh, what? Well, because the, uh, the, what, the, the token, token expires. expires. Yeah. I guess that doesn't really matter though. That's uh, a good a good pointer to take a break and. Uh... <laughs> no, we're, we're not taking a break. We've got to get this done. Um, it's football in what eight minutes? Um, England, England against Germany. Um, who are you supporting, Alex? Well, I mean, England's going to lose, so I've just saved you the trouble of watching it because now you know. <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, it, it, we're used to that. It's that's not the point. Um, any any uh, favourites there? I've got uh, Italy in our Jux sweepstakes. So I'm. Uh, how are Italy doing? I really should know this. I was. Good. Are they doing good? I mean, we did amazingly, yeah. <laughs> Against Austria. Right. Will it be England and Italy in the final? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, why not? Is it possible? Is it, is it going to be in the final if they meet, if they ever meet? 
That would be a different. I mean, the worst thing that Italy would have made France like not in the next round, but in the next round. they're already out. So I guess it doesn't. It's you know not a good sign to just do that kind of forecast. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, <laughs> we we did great because we've we've done something today. I think you know it would be good to pick up this uh, another time on another episode uh, to show, show how show how the API comes out and then get you guys back, particularly when we've got our Kanban working, Lou, it'd be great to start doing some drag and drop and bring your your drag and drop expertise into the into the fray. Um, and I think we could probably wrap up the week with a nice kind of Kanban, card Kanban. Um, yep. Sounds good. Uh, so I think, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up. Thanks, everybody. That was a, a, another good episode. Of, uh, I don't know quite what we're going to call this now. I don't think we're going to call it Hack at 4. I've had some people say that they can't make 4 p.m., but they'd love to guest on the show. So we might kind of uh, we might make the time more variable. But anyway, uh, thank you very much, Alex. That was really, really useful. All of, and, and Lou, all of the... Um, all the code around Reate it to make that work, and we can put the links to Reate it uh, in the show notes. In fact, Alex, don't, don't you have a you have a sort of this in a open source closure script thing on GitHub yet, or is that is that going to come soon? What my my projects? No, that's not going to come soon. <laughs> I mean, I I keep uh, I keep rewriting it because it doesn't work properly. Um, because, yeah, I I don't know. It's there's there's lots of like things that I would like to to work, but they're difficult because uh, of the translation of Closure Script to JavaScript. Right. But yeah. Okay. Well, it, it's five minutes to the football, so time to wrap up. Thanks everybody for watching. Especially big shout out to our visitors from the future, and we'll put the links to Reactor and other things and the code. Uh, in the show notes. Thank you very much for watching. Have a have a great day. Stop. <laughs>